It's supposed to be the best day of your life. You plan for months, you write your vows, you put on a white dress. But what happens when your fiancé gets cold feet? The brides you're about to meet suffered the nuclear version of a broken heart when they were left at the altar. But tonight, how they managed to turn that heartbreak into something new and better. Here's ABC's Lindsay Davis. Kylie Manulock's celebration with her bridesmaids didn't take place at her wedding. Kylie, shown here with her mom, says she was supposed to get married on November 7th. Everything was done. I was getting ready to, you know, just touch up with the DJ and, you know, just make sure everyone was on board and remembers the time. But everything has already gone out. We were ready. Everything was planned, paid for, and ready to go. Well, I was ready. <laughs> but then it all came crashing down when she says her fiancé called off the wedding with a text message. And it just said, I've been having these these back and forth feelings and I don't know if I can do this. I don't want to marry you. That's kind of the the gist of what the text message said. Kylie's ex fiance couldn't be reached for comment, but according to Kylie, he ended it just one week before the big day, leaving her and her bridesmaids all dressed up with no place to go. So instead of walking down the aisle, Kylie walked a 5K color run in her wedding dress. Instead of this is my pretty white dress, I'm going to walk down the aisle and marry the man of my dreams. Now it's making a new memory for it. The video went viral. I think people really took to the story is because I turned such a negative, devastating thing and I turned it into something positive. We've all seen brides being left at the altar on the big screen in movies like Sex in the City. I can't do this. But in real life, calling off a wedding is often even more painful to watch, let alone experience. To call what these women are going through traumatic may even be a bit of an understatement. For women who are in this position, they have a hard time with trust. And then there's the humiliation factor. So when someone breaks up with you um, and you have to let everybody know, there's a self-esteem issue that can happen, understandably so. A canceled wedding can also be quite costly. The wedding industry is a more than $50 billion business. With weddings becoming more and more elaborate, thanks in part to reality TV shows like Say Yes to the Dress, that's a gorgeous gown, gorgeous, gorgeous gown. It's 25000 The average American wedding now costs more than $30,000. And when a wedding doesn't happen, much of that money is gone for good. If the wedding is called off by a certain date, you will get some percentage of the deposits back. But after a certain date, unfortunately, most vendors won't budge and you will end up losing the deposit. Oh yes, deposits were lost. Um, I mean, it was a week before the wedding. Stacy Becker can empathize. She'd also planned a big elaborate wedding. We had our venue, I had my dress, we had bridesmaid dresses, we had our band, we had our photographer. But then she says her fiance called it off. There were nights I would spend crying my eyes out and in bed, I couldn't get out of bed, going to work and having to put on a normal face while I'm dealing with people. And then, you know, at home, I'm just crying, sobbing. Turns out canceling a wedding can be almost as hard as planning one. I was getting on the phone with vendors and having to explain while I'm completely devastated over and over again, you know, this is what happened. You know, is there anything we can do to work this out? When a couple calls off the wedding, the first thing that they can do is let their family and friends know. They can enlist family members. They can enlist the wedding party to help them spread the word. Stacy managed to get her deposit back for the reception, but many can't. Like a family in California who ended up donating the canceled wedding reception dinner to the homeless. I think that there are women that creatively handle a very difficult situation and it's all about how you react. Stacy penned her heartache into a book called Not the One, but now she says she's found her happily ever after with someone else who's grateful for the broken off engagement. He threw away the winning lottery ticket, so I'm happy, I like him. The wheels on the bus go round and round. They're now married with a baby girl. Her former fiance, who she calls Brad in her book, said in a statement, Stacy Becker was my best friend and I loved the time we shared together. Unfortunately, at 26, I was not ready to make a forever commitment. I am happy to have realized that and think that Stacy and I are both in better places because of it.
But Kylie's heartbreak is still fresh, and reminders of her wedding are everywhere. So these turned out well? They did, and you made these. She plans to get the dress cleaned and then donate it to charity. It actually turned out really pretty. <laughs> the tie-dye. I, I know. Despite her despair, Kylie says that aside from the message coming over text, the breakup was actually for the best. I'm not mad at him for calling off the wedding. I thank him because now I'm able to find true happiness. I thank him for that. I really do. For Nightline, I'm Lindsay Davis in New York.